World War III just started in Iraq. Sadly, it spread to North Korea, Pakistan, and China, eventually evolving into a nuclear holocaust. Our hero, Frank Castle, also known as the Punisher, survives by taking refuge in a fallout shelter hidden in a high-security prison block. A year after the bombs fall, Frank leaves the prison and begins his journey to New York City, taking with him Paris Peters, a con artist who expresses interest in Frank's mission to find another bomb shelter hidden deep beneath the former site of the World Trade Center. Frank and Paris travel across upstate New York, past the ruined remains of civilization, ignoring the radiation they know will kill them. Out here is where you're going to die, inside 72 hours, from the look of things. They locate the Manhattan bomb shelter and gain access where they fall unconscious. Be ready. This trank gas kicks in as soon as the doors close. What? What the fuck did you just say? Both awaken in the infirmary, where a woman who is a doctor reveal they will die within hours of radiation poisoning. Walking around up there, unprotected, you simply absorb too much radiation. The doctor then injects some weird liquid to Frank. Frank thinks that it is a sedative, because that's what they used for Frank's companion Paris Peters, because of the pain he was experiencing. But then the doctor informs him that it's actually adrenaline, because there are two people waiting to ask Frank some questions, and they need him alert enough. While the doctor gives Frank clothes, she starts to question Frank how he knew the code to gain access to the bomb shelter, and then the Punisher instantly grabs a knife and starts threatening her. Call these two assholes in here now. And that's what she does. When two of the guys, who wanted to interview Frank, come to the room, without hesitation he kills them. And then the Punisher instructs the doctor to wake up his companion Paris. And when she does that, Frank instantly shoots her, surprising Paris. Frank then grabs two guns and does what the Punisher does the best, starts killing everyone in the bomb shelter. While killing everyone and making his way through the shelter, Frank explains to Paris that group of generals, senators, oil magnates, and computer billionaires all live here. And they are the ones who escalated the war in the name of profit, resulting global holocaust. Frank then reaches the room where they all stay and explains that he got all the codes and information about the bomb shelter from a man named William Teacher, a man who designed the bomb shelter and was sent to prison where Frank, the Punisher, was staying. But when Frank almost starts shooting them. One of the billionaires interrupt him and explain that five months ago they got a transmission, and from the looks of it, they might be the last people alive in the whole world. But knowing that these people would doom the world again, Frank kills them all. When the killing is done, we get another surprise. We find out that Frank's companion, Paris Peters, is actually not really a good guy either. How does a small-time con artist get sent to the D-Block? What? You knew all along? I suspected. We find out that Frank's companion once set a fire to a bunch of houses for insurance money, but the houses were next to a kindergarten, and a couple dozen of kids burned to death because of him. After hearing this, Frank grabs his neck and chokes him to death. Frank re-emerges into the irradiated Manhattan wasteland, hair falling out in clumps, fire burning his flesh, as he starts walking to New York City's Central Park. In his mind, it is 1976, and he is going to try to go back in time to save his family from their fate. <laughs>